Thank you. Uh, I'm live. I don't know how delayed it is. Hopefully it won't make too much of a difference. Oh, so let's get. I suppose I should get chat up, eh? Just in case. Oh, that's unmuted itself again. How rude. That shouldn't be a thing, Twitch. Once it's muted, it should stay muted! Right. Uh, it'll be interesting to see anybody, if any of the old regulars, jump in at any point. Seeing as it's been over a year since I last streamed. And it wasn't like I had a lot of regulars. Uh, although I might cheat a little bit and message a friend or two. <laughs> uh, right. um, but, um, so, luckily, I am up late enough that it's just. I mean, if I could fly really fast, I could still fly from. I'm in New Zealand all the way to where I'm currently at in daylight. But I'm not that fast. And luckily that's not what we're doing. And I'm rambling, but that's okay, because that's what I'm like. Um, so. Yes, we're going to... And that's the other thing I was going to say. Luckily it's actually daylight. It's late. We're up late enough that it's daylight here. Um, we're going to fly from... Kish Island, which is somewhere around here, I think that's it there. Yeah, that's where we're starting. We're actually backtracking a little bit. Um, my last episode, you probably know why I started, why well, I wanted to go to Kish. It's uh, family historical relevance. Not that any of my family were from there, but some of my family worked there many, many decades ago now. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd fly around there. And then, um, on to Zen. Um, you can't really fly this far without, you know, giving Dubai a bit of a visit. I've got family that might not be working there currently, but definitely worked there recently. Um, where are we? Okay, just checking my. Really need. I need to get. You know, what I need to do on my. Oh, I do have the stream chat up on there. Okay, good. I can more or less ignore... I need a bigger second monitor. Um, there we go. The stream chat a bit bigger. Okay. Um, right. So, let's click the fly button. Hopefully this all works without doing anything dramatically bad. Or anything bad at all would be nice. Um, oops. So I'm just using my phone to send a message. Kish Tower Cessna Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra Alpha ready for straight out departure at runway 27 left. Cessna Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra Alpha 1 Kong departing straight out approved. Cleared for takeoff runway 27 left. 27. I was doing. Cleared for takeoff runway 27 left Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha. Okay. I was. Hopefully I've got everything the way I had it set up in my last stream. Apart from the fact. Oh. Oh. I thought it was taken off. Well, it is doing its thing by itself, but I thought I had something set wrong for a second. Anyway. Um. I am very, very rambly and all over the place at the moment. Punctuated with massive long pauses of almost complete silence. Okay. I've also gotten a bit lazy since my since I'm hardly ever doing these streams anymore. I remember when I first started out I used to 
start off in a parking lot and all that and taxi out by myself. And I tell you what, at the moment I'm just happy that I'm back in the seat. Now, here's the thing. I had set the destination. And it is, it is showing there, but normally on this... No, see that's... Hang on. There, yeah, north, west. I mean... It used to set up your thingies automatically. Oh, sugar. That's not what I wanted to do. Hopefully that didn't mess anything up. Hang on. Just... Okay, I can just roll it back. Roll, roll, roll. Is that... Can I click on that? No. Oh no. It's been so long, plus things have definitely changed a little. I'm assuming that this is a bit more accurate than it used to be. Uh, how do we set this up again? I might just have to manually manually navigate because I am pretty sure press the FMSC RS R knob to return to base page what? the what knob? This one, that was CRS, but it doesn't have anything else on there. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Don't want to be... No, don't want to be... Turn up. Don't even know if I put it back where I stop. Oh, hang on. CRS. No. That's different. That's, that's not helping. I'll have to learn that another time. At least it's daytime. Okay. Um, very strange that the map didn't set like. If the map's not going to be an easy way to set your autopilot up, then why bother having the destination option? Because it doesn't do anything if that's what they've changed. I don't know why I wasn't full throttle in. I was considering doing a... Um, stay in the middle. Uh, I was considering doing VR, but... There's a couple of... Is it windy? Um... Am I? Right. I feel like I need to be saying goodbye to Kish Island. It's ready. There's quite a bit of. Um, if you really, really want to check my previous video, but um, yeah, it's. There's quite a bit of infrastructure on here. There's even some kind of highway-ish looking roads on this island, but... Not a hell of a lot to see in flight sim. I just turned down the headset volume a wee bit. Oh, just turned it all the way up. And that's better. Um...
Oh yeah, how much fuel did I? Well, I don't even check the fuel. I should have it. More or less. Oh dear. Oh, this could be interesting. <coughs> For some reason I'm only on half a tank. I'm sure that's going to be fine. That'll be fine. Where I clicked on that. Okay. Um, let's get this throttle. Okay, let's see if it was heading in more or less the right direction. No, that's zooming in. I'm sure that's my destination there, so no, I'm not heading in the right direction. Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Okie dokie. Kish Tower Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Alpha frequency change. started off behind me instead of in front of me. So, we do that. And then that. I think. The might start flying in the right direction. Hey, there we go. I'm pretty sure that's where we're I said, yeah, backtracking a bit. Yeah, there we go, so that's Kish Island, you can see there's definitely some larger buildings than that over there. It used to be a resort island, and I think it still kind of is. It's part of uh, Iran. So, yes. something you'd want to hear from a real pilot. A safe one. Can't remember. One of them is kind of dangerous to use for climbing. But I think vertical speed is the safe one. I have forgotten so much.
Okay. temp is part of that, but mostly it's the RPMs. There is it's exhaust gas temperature there. RPMs on the top. This will help save a bit of fuel. I think we'll just Flying into, I was just going to say it's starting to look a bit misty, but I think that was just the. Uh, the light. I don't know what you'd call it, like the. Uh, you know, as your eyes adjust, which the game simulates. Or the simulator simulates. Starts to get thinner up here. Now, one thing I wanted to do with this trip, obviously, I wanted to get it finished a long time ago. Seeing as the next simulator is due, the replacement simulator <laughs> is due to come out in November, I was thinking it'd be nice to finish the flight before November at least. I don't know if I will get that done. Probably not, but I can try. So today we're flying to Dubai. stuff if it doesn't go blah 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 she's good at that so I just want to check my stream Right, I think that's pretty much everything taken care of. It's going to be a not so scenic journey. That's all right. If I was going to do VR, you definitely don't really want to do VR for journeys that A, have no real scenery, but also ones that you're just flying from straight from A to B. Oh, hang on, do I? <clears throat> Yes, they were all the way up, that's good. 
me it's bad because that means I take, took off with flaps all the way up. But, um, it's good that I haven't been flying for the last 10 minutes or so with my flaps down. Plus, you know, big long runway. I don't see the harm in taking off with flaps up, really. Again, probably not something you want to hear from the pilot. There's a boat! We do have scenery! Ah! At least I think it's a boat. It's weird, like, I know I got a new graphics card a couple of years, a year or so ago. Maybe a couple of years ago now, I don't know. Time passes weirdly. Um, but, um, yeah, graphics really feel like they've jumped up since I last started playing, just since I last started playing? Since I last played, like, regularly. And I know that, yeah, I've been able to put up graphics to, I think they're a maximum at the moment. If they're not a maximum, they're pretty damn close to it. Um, yeah, it just, could just be that it's been so long since I've played that I don't remember it looking that good. Also, I have a better monitor, so now playing in 1440 instead of 1080, which, yeah, seems, seems to be making quite a difference. And the other good thing about playing this game, I guess, slightly noisy game drowns out the fans on my computer. At least I'm hoping it's drowning out the fans on my computer. <laughs> uh, still climbing. I suppose I could check the mixture again. Is the cruising altitude of this plane again? Probably around 4,000. Actually, it should be fine. Go to four. I don't know. Is that oh? There's an island right there. My mouse pointer was visible on the stream, and it is. It should be, it's like the game mouse pointer, and there's that ship.
as we are now, I could look around this pillar. I forget just because it's not just because it's my weekend doesn't mean it's everybody's weekend. Ah. The joys of not working Friday. Wow, did we just suddenly do that last bit way quicker? I feel like we did. Um no, it's gone into altitude hold, I think it has automatically. And now we should actually be picking up some speed too. Let's see. Five. Okay, so let's settle down. Since that speed builds up, the RPM is naturally going to pick up. Oh, look at that! Did we wake behind it and think, no, it's so cool! So much detail! Love it. anything on that wee island. Hmm. Oh! Brett! Hello! Yeah, it has been a long, long time. When was that message sent? Don't have a timestamp in here. Hang on. Let's see if I can get Twitch up. Why doesn't Twitch timestamp its messages? It'd be nice to know how long I've left you hanging there. Yes. Oh, good, good, good. I'm terrible at just zoning out from the chat. It's easy to do, though, when it's quiet. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's been a while. I'm, I just, um, I was saying earlier on that um, the new flight sim is supposed to be getting released in... Um, November and I would like to finish the journey I, I started back when this sim first came out before the new one comes out. I don't know if I'll get it done, but at least I'm getting the bit to Dubai done. Just, uh, just try and take, even if it's just much smaller bites out of it, just play it a bit more regularly. Yep, it's the same trip. I still fly to the UK. I've just been so busy and tired with work, um, and especially after I've spent like 12 hours or so sitting, driving my bus around. It's hard to get motivated to come back and sit in a chair for another few hours and <laughs> fly a plane in a straight line. Ah, oh, fantastic. Yeah, if yeah, if I was to do a return trip, I'd yeah continue, continue through it around. Um, I might it'd be in. Uh, I mean, surely they're not just gonna stop supporting this game immediately when um, the new one releases. Like, hopefully, all the online functionality still works. So, I don't think I'll be buying the new flight sim in a hurry and I'm quite happy to keep playing this one for a few more years um, to do other trips but it's almost a point of some sort of holding not necessarily I think pride is the wrong word but at least 
I'd like to keep some sort of standard to at least get this trip done while this is still <laughs> this was still the main game. Um, flying from South America over the Pacific was a long overwater flight. Oh, I think I swapped to the Concorde for a bit. Yeah, 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 the Concorde would have been... Um, see, I, th I think... I don't know. I remember when I first started this, somebody suggested um, doing the return flight and something even more inappropriate than a 172. Something with, like, no um, navigation. But... I think if I was still unemployed, yeah, sure. <laughs> I might do it if I, if I didn't have other stuff taken up the time. But yeah. Maybe something fast and inappropriate would be good. The C... C208... King Air 350. They both ring a bell, but I can't place what airplanes they are. Let's see what I, I should really read your stuff out because this is going on YouTube as well. Um, oh, the caravan. Yeah. So, yeah, that's right. You, yeah, you did the caravan because I was with you for the flight with the caravan to Heathrow. And the King Air 350 twin prop. Ah, oh, so that would have been considerably quicker. So I use that mostly for the return, and then you kind of switch to the Concorde for the Pacific. But um, yeah, no, I'm just going to once this is done, I'll just transfer it over. Which hopefully I can still do. Did, Twitch didn't just get rid of that, did they? That would be annoying. You normally export it from Twitch over to YouTube. Um, I gave up with uh, mucking about with trying to do the... Uh, you don't think you can anymore? You don't think they got rid of it? <laughs> um, yeah, even if they got rid of it, it's not the end of the world, because I'm pretty sure you can still download stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah no, as soon as this flight is done, I'll um, transfer it over to YouTube. But yeah, I'm just um, flying back from... Uh, not flying back, I'm flying from Kish Island. Um, is that... Uh, my dad used to work there at the casino. Um, and he's even got some old photos from his time there. So... Not that you really see all that much on the, the simulator, but... It's just... Part of the flight was definitely as I came across places that were relevant to my life. I'd, you know, go and visit them if I came across them. And passing so close to Kish, it was well worth. I'm having to double back slightly because of that, but but I don't have to double back. But I want to actually visit Dubai as well. I had um, relatives that work there. Plus, it's a bit of a landmark on the way. But, um, oh, I'm so rusty. Like, unless I messed it up, which I possibly did, because I didn't double check it once I did it, it used to be that if you um, set a... I honestly don't know. Uh, I've got no ETA or anything, because what happened was on the main... You know, in the before you even get into the flight, you can go onto the map and you can set a... Um, departure point and a destination. That used to set it up in the airplane's um, auto, like navigation system. Didn't do it this time. So unless I... I don't know, unless I didn't click on something... It's possible that I zoomed in on Dubai and clicked the runway without actually setting a destination, or they've gotten rid of that functionality, which would be a bit weird. Um, 
and I'm really rusty with using these things now so I can't even remember where you enter the okay yeah I must have mucked that up so I'm just sort of eyeballing it at the moment although that being said I am pretty sure well if I can zoom in um, pretty sure that's the airport I set the destination as and it is blue but whether that's just blue because it's a main um, like a main hub or whether that's blue because it is set as a destination and something else has gone wrong I don't know but I do remember somewhere in here um, you used to be able to do it man like obviously you know real life plane has you would do it in here not in the game menu um, yeah but I've forgotten how to do that and I didn't really want to try and figure it out on stream with me just sitting on the runway doing even more nothing for ages um, I suppose I could try and figure it out now Yeah. Um, so yeah, I just ended up using, I just set the, I'm assuming that is the airport I'm wanting to go to. I think the other thing you need is the actual, you just enter these I think. Yeah, I just can't remember how to add destination. And you could do that. But then I'm not too sure what the nearest... Okay, hang on. is nearest now. I've, I am so rusty. Hang on, you said the left. So you mean the other left. <laughs> um, ah, there we go. Although, that being said... So there's... It's good they've got that there. How's my fuel? Um, where is my fuel? Fuel. Yeah, I should have enough fuel. I left with half a tank and I'm over halfway. Um, so, well, OMDB. Okay, OMDB. Uh, how do we, do we scroll? this because that's not a touch screen. In fact, do not touch the screens. Um, the dials. Yes. I'm guessing a dial. I'm just not too sure which dial. Um, is it this one? Oh, yes, that one. Okay. And there we go. And then do we click? No. I don't think. Hang on. Hang on. Did, did that do? Have I? Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, enter for enter. Okay, I've also... I don't even have it selected anymore. Hang on. Ne nearest. Da, 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 da. And then... Enter. Maybe... Hang on. Do I want that one instead? Enter. Oh! Hang on. That's the columns, right? Hang on. If I do 
do that one. Does anything change? No. I'll click the dial. Yeah, I tried clicking the dial. Um, it's also hard to see like if this has changed or anything because I am there's also no light there used to always be a line here that would go to your destination and that's definitely not happening this has got to be frustrating for you to watch <laughs> um Double flight plan pitch. Yeah, is there a no. There's nothing. Um, although, hang on. OMDB, can I um, hang on. Why am I trying to click? I don't know. Okay. Well. I need to go back to school. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, yeah, we're on the same page now. Um, oh, hang on. Origin, we've already got an origin on destination. Ah, ha, 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 ha. So, maybe if I hit enter? No. No, that was silly. Destination, destination unknown. Uh, mm I used to be able to use this stuff. Oh! Oh, I got something. Ha! <laughs> Crap. What was the OMDB? Still not exactly sure what I did. Uh... So, yeah. yeah, once en route, I don't know what... Hang on. Hmm. Yeah, I think... I mean, I got part of the way there. Ah, oh, Brett. You saved my sanity. I'm still not exactly sure what the hell. Uh, and... I think... Nav mode? Hey, there we go. We're at 43 nautical miles. I think I can get rid of that now. There we go. 
Oh, look at that. Ah, oh. brilliant. <clears throat> so. There we go. It's the excitement for this journey. <laughs> Till we get to the end and forget how to land. Hey, Brett, do you have, um, have you got a VR headset? I seem to vaguely remember you having a VR headset. Ah, have you tried um, VTOL VR? Yeah, I've, I've actually got two now. Um, HC Vive. Ah, oh, that's still a good headset. Um, I've got my old Microsoft Mixed Reality one, which did a bloody good job um, but I recently upgraded to a Quest 3 which is absolutely amazing um, right I if you <laughs> if you like flying games and I feel like you might do a little bit um, yeah uh, especially if you're at all interested in uh, combat flight um, definitely definitely grab VTOL VR um, it's one of these games I wish I had a bit more time to play it but it is designed from the ground up um, for VR oh fantastic that's the that'll be the biggest thing um, The what I find because uh, I keep calling the name the name of the lens is wrong I think I call it Fresnel, but it's not Fresnel, it's something else. Fresnel? Lenses? Whatever they're called. Um, the Quest 3's got the pancake lenses instead, and they are a noticeable improvement. Can you get lens upgrades for the uh, for the HTC? Because if you could put pancakes on that puppy, that'd be... Um... Oh, you've got... Um, you've got upgrades on your lenses? Um, but yeah, uh, VTOL VR. The with my old headset, I well, it wasn't the headset with my the old controllers for my headset, um, my Microsoft one. They weren't quite accurate enough. Like they they weren't reliable enough, probably more than it. They were pretty accurate, but occasionally they'd get a bit shaky, which was wasn't good. Still playable, but it was just it was annoying. But with the Quest Three, because the controllers are pretty damn good, um, and the HTC should be, yeah. Um, yeah, they're not they're not not crystal lenses, but they're um, they don't have the at least I don't think there's anything crystal about them, but they're just they're completely transparent. They don't have the rings in them, um, and it just yeah, it's makes a notice of really noticeable difference. Um, plus, the high resolution is nice. Um, yeah. I also like the um, being able to go completely wireless is nice, um, especially it's not a in, oops, excuse me hiccups. It's not an issue playing games like this, but if you're playing something that has you swinging your arms around, it's really nice to not have cables just randomly getting in the way. Ooh, somebody's passing overhead. All good. See you when you get back. Stream. 
closed again. Just opening up the Twitch app on my phone, having a look. So it takes forever to load. <coughs> Site now, which is good. Uh -huh. My app failed to load, so something went wrong. I have to back out entirely. No. Close the app. Load the app. Oh dear. Start my phone. I'll do that. Hey, welcome back. Uh, yeah, I am. Um, so I think last time when I'd been. Because this game didn't support VR immediately, did it, when it came out? It took him a few months to get that going. Oh, can't stay long. Car for a... Ooh, road trip. Nice. Ah. Thank you for lurking. Much appreciated. Enjoy the road trip tomorrow as well. It's like a decent drive. So three hours to Hobart. So you must be like living up, you living up near Launceston or something, or is it just a um... ah cool cool? Or have you just got a very twisty, windy way to get to Hobart? Last time I was in, yeah, last time I was in Tassie was when we left, like, um, yeah, would have been 14 years old. God, that's what, almost 34 years ago, fucking hell. <laughs> Around about 33 years since I was last in Tassie. <laughs> yeah, getting old's definitely interesting. Uh, just wish I could afford to travel and stuff. I'm quite lucky though, I've got this, this bus driving job now, which is. Um, yeah, it's allowing me a few of life's little luxuries. So. Oh wow, uh, it would have been 19. So yeah, you were down there first in the. So have you been in Tassie continuously since the 70s, or have you lived in other places since? thinking the late 70s you must have been quite little because I'm pretty sure you're uh, a bit younger than me. Ah, cool. Visited for a wedding as a child. So, you came, you ended up permanently moving for quite a bit later. 26, ah, oh, yeah, heaps later. See, I first arrived in Tassie in 1982, I think it was. Um, it might have been 1983, somewhere around there anyway. 
Um, 52? Oh, you're a bit older than me then. Yeah, I'm going to be 48 this year. You, you look younger than me, you bastard. Um, but yeah, so I arrived there when I was 6, left when I was 14, and then did the rest of my growing up in Perth. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing about it. <laughs> So close. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, me too. Just big kids. I was told if you get to forty and you haven't grown up, you don't need to, so. Once you pass 40, you're safe. Ah, oh, look, 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 there's the, um, the, uh, I like the pine, is it the palm, is it palm tree, islands in the shape of a palm tree or something, or that might be the, we've also got islands in the shape of the earth. That might be, I mean, that looks like Morris. Hmm. That might be the earth one there. Pine tree one might be further away. How am I doing for fuel? I have got plenty of fuel. Okay. What I might do is actually have a fly over there before we um, go back to landing on the runway. But yeah, since I started playing this all that time ago, I've upgraded my GPU because I was running on a 1060, which was more or less fine for this mode. But um, when the VR, when they first introduced VR to this game, it was not pretty. Like it worked, but it it wasn't wasn't worth it. But now I've got a GTX 30, not GTX RTX 3080. And, um, yeah, it's much nicer. And I'm running, what, well, getting an entire 50 FPS in this at the moment. What's my FPS over? Hmm, weird. But, yeah, it's pretty much, it's pretty close to max detail, if not actually maxed out. Um, although I normally get more FPS than this, so I'm not too sure what's going on there. Um... Yeah, and of course I've got a newer monitor too, like 14, a 1440p instead of a 1080. So that's that's been that's been a nice upgrade. So do you get a did you upgrade to a whole new system? Remember seeing your um, a caravan and the camping stuff you had was bloody impressive. Khalifa or something it's called, something like that. I'm probably absolutely massacring the name. That just popped into view. Nice. I hate to think how bad it's going to get if out here I'm only getting... I'll well, just drop down to 44 FPS for a second there. I wonder if all this stuff is... I'll have to check what my FPS was earlier on in the game. Whoa. Um, 
went for another five year plan from the 1080 Ti system to Intel Core i9-1390KF RAM 64GB Corsair Ah, nice motherboard MSI Crew Samsung 2TB plus another 1TB M.2, nice Got the 3090, excellent. And hang on, Intel Arc case. So hang on, you've got two GPUs in there. Also, did you hear about the issues? Did you, you had any stability issues with that CPU? There's been um, a whole bunch of drama with the 13th and 14th generation. Pretty much, I think it was anything above. And I see anything i7 and above, and possibly the other ones. Nice, yeah, it's a good idea. So Intel GPUs, I think, are supposed to be really, really power efficient. Um, not so good for most gaming unless it's like probably be okay for. I think it's okay for most modern games. It suffers with older games because it has to fall back to some sort of weird thing. Right, have you heard about the issues they've been having? Yeah, that's the GPUs, but the uh, Intel... Um, not the GPUs, but the um, CPUs have been having stability issues because they're drawing too much power through one of the... Um, uh, one of the buses or whatever that they draw power through and have actually been um, cooking themselves. If you haven't been getting stability issues, you're probably good. But it first shows itself as stability issues. You start getting blue screens. Uh, those, uh, yeah. Right. I am going to switch to outside view just so we can sightsee a bit better. So yeah, this is the first one as the Earth. That's pretty cool. I haven't got all the packs downloaded for this as well. I don't know if there's a higher detail. One of the, you know, the free stuff they release. I don't know if there's a... I don't think there is like a Middle East pack that they've done yet. This is still pretty damn detailed. I think this may have improved since I last flew through here though actually. Because I did visit this many months ago just on my own, like not on a stream. Right, so it was a an update that everybody got whether they that you didn't have to deliberately download. That makes sense because I swear this area is nicer than it was last time I flew around here. Still sit, still at hovering around about 50 FPS as well. As I say, that it drops to FPS. It's definitely more consistent with this GPU, even if it's not always blisteringly first. They had it a landing challenge for the birch. Oh, brilliant. Not 
to fly past that. Oh wow, I just looked down. That's really got some detail on it. Very cool. Islands must cost so much. Oh, hang on a second. That one there's the... I've got a really bloody tall one there. That one there's the... Um... That one there's the verge, isn't it? I think. <laughs> it's also... supposed to be the one closer to... Island, right, I might. Turn autopilot off. There's another um, island. Wow. So, this must be the original one. That's interesting because this all looks like um, it's just flat. Um, flat textures on this island. Brett, you take care. Thank you so much for popping in and helping me out with the, uh, um, the navigation. <laughs> you have a good one. I don't want to fly down there. I'll, um, Palm Island over there looks like more of the same. So I am going to turn around and head back to the airport. Might also kind of want to see. See what this is like if I get down low. A bit of wind, a bit of turbulence. It's 
see if 3D building stuff. So I've already got the jetties there. Have popped into existence and boats. So let's see if get any houses. driving down there now. trees and stuff at least. I wonder if it's because it's on the water. pretty, even if it's missing a bunch of buildings. over and have a oh, look at what this other building is. time we 
Yeah, by the time we get past this, we should be pretty close to the runway. Relatively speaking. Got a lot of lanes. Whoa, that airplane's moving. Transition here on the land. There. Yes. Haha. <laughs> no. Yes. Landing please. Dubai Tower Cessna Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra Alpha is six miles southwest, two thousand five hundred feet, with Alpha to land. Cessna Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra Alpha Dubai Tower. Altimeter 2 decimal minor, 2 wind calm fly, left downwind runway 30 left. Okay. Must be 3 on. Okay. Uh. Fly left traffic runway 30 left Cessna Golf, Sierra Alpha. Hang on, wants us to fly that so it's on landing clearance. On the left, or with the runway on my left. I don't know. Never been very good at that stuff. I'm feeling it's with the airport on my left, maybe. <laughs> um, and I'm turning left to go around the runway. Runway 30 left, 
see that my number is still on. Oh, there we go. My mouse is so backwards with the view up here. Oh, that's too much zoom. Coming in that way. Clear to land runway three zero left if leave one four seven one heavy. Okay, so that must be runway three zero. One four seven one heavy number two for landing. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Follow the aircraft seven. on final. Okay. Wind calm caution. The Airbus A twenty and landing runway three zero right. So, so Clear to land runway three zero oh. left. I was right and wrong. I kind of thought I was heading more north. And I was getting selfish. Clear to land runway three zero left air in the niner, two niner heavy. Easy, busy airport. Clear to land runway three zero left number two, if leave one four seven one heavy. to do for it to give me Face. Whoa! I didn't know that was a thing. How did I? Can't even see. Oh god! 
I don't know how I did that. Okay. I managed to break the zoom. Which is a bit of a problem. Can I... Okay. Okay, so we're going to be landing with very, very, very... Oh, this is coming inside. So okay, we'll be good. I'm just there's some sort of mouse combination that can really mess up your zoom. Cool. That's okay. Ooh, too much down. Doesn't help using an Xbox controller. Is not the most. Sensitive, well, uh, it's a little sensitive. Too sensitive at times. Okay. And. Cool. Yeah, well, get off the runway as soon as possible. I'll just. We get off here. Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha, turn next taxiway. Yep. Yeah. Just did, thank you. Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha, contact ground. please. There we go. And <coughs> figure out this zoom. Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha, did you copy? Oh, uh, yeah. Going to 118 decimal tree 5 Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha. so badly. I honestly don't know. That was weird. Oh, there we go. Back and forwards on the control stick. That makes sense because I would have been controlling the aircraft. Okay, cool. Oh, we survived. Survived to live another day. Ah, right. Well, if you've been watching, thank you very much. Thanks for popping in, Brett. And, um, yeah. I'll catch you next time, which I've probably said before, but hopefully it won't be months before I do the next one. Yes, thank you very much. You have a wonderful day. I'll catch you later. Bye.